Hey Cancer, this is your reading and this is a general message. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind, right? Um, so let's get into your message. Okay, um, let's get some energy for Cancer. What's going on with Cancer, please? Messages for Cancer. Okay, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, right? So I feel like th something's coming forward for you. This may be the time, the place, the situation that you've been waiting for. At the bottom, we have chemistry. So there may be very strong chemistry between you and someone new. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some more energy. We have the counselor. This is Archangel Azriel. You are a natural counselor. Many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So someone may be asking you for advice, right? We also have overcoming difficulties. So there may be some hard situations that you've recently gone through, but you're overcoming those situations now. They're behind you and you're able to move forward and, you know, get past that situation. Okay, let's get some more energy for Cancer. Energies for Cancer, please this one we have the yang okay the number one so this is destiny divine timing right something happening that you you is going to come to a complete surprise okay someone is you know maybe you're the yin to their yang maybe they're the the yang to your yin you know but i feel like there's some kind of karmic um situation that's unfolding something that you're not look this is a surprise this is a gift okay so there's something that's happening that's going to make you very happy very joyful we also have no place like home uh, so you could be traveling home you know you could be making a visit okay so i feel like you could be traveling as well during this time so let's get some more messages for Cancer. What is Cancer's current energy, please? Message for Cancer. The Two of Swords. Okay, so you're making decisions. Okay, we have the Fool and the Hierophant. In the near future we have the six of pentacles and the eight of wands okay at the bottom see there's that no place like home i feel like you're definitely making some kind of visit there's there's something from the past that's coming forward could be family friends loved ones uh, but i feel like you're surrounding yourself with these energies at the moment right cancer um this could also be someone coming in from the past because I, I feel like with this energy, I feel like, you know, you you were recently embarking on some kind of new journey. You know, this was a new beginning. A cycle had just ended and you were starting something different. And you had to have faith in your situation, Cancer. But I feel like you were fully committed. You were fully committed to the situation. You, you know, this is also the counselor card. So you may have given counsel to someone or actually seek counsel from someone, you know. Um, so I, I definitely feel like there was someone who either give or received advice. And now your current energy, Cancer, the Two of Swords. These are choices and decisions that need to be made. And with the Two of Swords energy, sometimes it can be very tough decisions. Something that's hard for you to choose between could be very important to you right now. The, this choice is going to either make or break your situation, right? Because these are really tough choices to make. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. 
in the near future. So these are actually very good cards for the near future because it means you are gaining your balance. There's something in your life that wants to give you equally. You know, they're not just taking energy. They're also giving it back. There's someone who wants to offer you some kind of generosity, uh, some kind of gift. Okay. Um, this could be a job offer. This could be communication. But I feel like it's leading you to want to take action with the situation. There could be also good news coming in for you that you have been waiting for. You know, you've been waiting for something to be fair. Okay, and this is that fairness coming in. And this is, you know, hearing about this situation or taking action. Okay, so it could be a new job situation that you're walking into. It could be um, anything, you know, take it how it resonates. Cancer. Oh, and it's storming outside. Do you hear that thunder? Last night we had really bad storms. There were tornadoes. And we kind of made it through that. Now it's more thunderstorms. For real. Okay. Anyway, Cancer. Okay, let's get some energy for... Tell me more about this fool. Tell me more about this fool, please. The Page of Pentacles. The Hierophants, the Two of Wands, okay, hmm, yeah, I feel like there may have been some kind of offer that you were pursuing, but I feel like it was, it was a good offer, it was very solid, and you felt like it's, it was, it's a new beginning, it was a new cycle, a new journey that you were pursuing, but I feel like you were kind of deadlocked. In some kind of situation you were waiting for um, news or you were waiting for some kind of action uh, with this Hierophant and this Two of Wands you were greatly anticipating the best but I feel like there was some kind of choice that you needed to make as well right And I feel like you, you're just waiting. You're waiting for something to happen. Maybe you're waiting to hear back on this good offer. You know? This could definitely be a career reading. Definitely. Because this is a solid offer being given to you. You're waiting for news back. But you may have a very hard choice. Hmm. Tell me about this Two of Swords energy. Why does Cancer have this hard choice? What are these decisions? The Five of Wands and the Emperor. So I feel like whatever this is, I feel like there may be a lot of competition. And you have a choice to make. You have a choice to make to either be the same as your competition or to rise above your competition. Okay, I feel like this is letting you know that the choice that you, that you need to make, Cancer, is to stand out from the, from the crowd. Stand out and be the leader. Don't be the same as your competition. You know, take control of your situation. Stand above the rest. You know, um, take the authority. Be the leader. Okay? So I, I de I'm definitely feeling career vibes with this because I feel like, you know, there may be competition in the... In the um, career that you're working with and you know spirit is telling you to rise above stand above all the rest be a leader you know make yourself really be seen you know don't, don't play those games like the others are doing you know take control of the situation these choices that you need to make are to take control 
stand out. Okay, what do we have for the Six of Pentacles? Give me a message for the Six of Pentacles, please. The Strength and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel, I feel like someone's coming in to give you some kind of help because I feel like the burdens that you're carrying, um, you can't carry all on your own. So it may be a situation to where you have a lot of responsibility, you have a lot of things that you need to get done. Well, someone is offering you help to get through the situation. And I feel like with this strength card, you you know, you you feel like you're strong enough to do it on your own, but you're willing to accept help. Right? With this eight of pentacles, excuse me, eight of wands, we have the three of cups and the sun card. So definitely I feel like um, this is working together and finding your happiness. So whatever action you're taking, I feel like you're taking it as a social group. Uh, so this could be something that you're working on with other people. But I feel like in some aspects, I feel like this is gossip. There's someone gossiping about your situation. You know, someone's spilling the beans. Someone's letting everyone know what you're up to, right? You know, cancer's doing this, cancer's doing that. And I feel like they're they're like gossiping about you, but I feel like that just makes your situation even better. That, you know, puts you at the forefront. Right, Cancer? Because I you know, they they're talking about you. You're on everyone's mind, you know, on your social group. And I feel like that may lead to this new love issue here, right? There could be new love coming in, new sparks. You know, we have the Ten of Cups right underneath that. So there's a lot of happiness. The Nine of Pentacles, definitely. So I feel like whatever this is doing, it's actually going in your favor. Um, if someone's trying to be malicious, it's not working, right? So, um, let's get some more advice for cancer. Let's get some more advice. Tell me about the situation, spirit. Give me more messages. Okay, the hermit. The magician. Wow. The nine of wands. The king of wands. And the two of wands. Lots of wands here. So I really feel like you're taking action. Um, I really feel like there's something that you're doing that you're trying to build upon. You're trying to get knowledge. You're trying to perfect uh, whatever this is. If this is love, business, or your lifestyle, I feel like you're working on things. You may be going within to find answers. Um, but... You know, the hermit, the hermit is a very wise person. You know, he goes out on his own to really listen to his own inner self, right? And he leads the path with the star. The star is inside this lantern. So he leads, he's being led by his healing, by his, uh, by the things that he's learned, his, Healing is leading him into the decisions that he needs to make. So I feel like you're going to look on past situations. You're going to look at what you've overcome and what challenges you faced. And you're going to be led by those, um, by that star. You're going to be led by that star to whatever choices that you need to make. But I do feel like you're going to take some time within. You're going to you know, have that alone time in order to come up with these, these realizations for you. I definitely feel like there's something that you're manifesting, Cancer. I feel like something is coming forward. Something's being created. And what this is, Spirit does not want you to give up on. They want you to keep pursuing it. It's like, okay, there's a challenge. There's a challenge here, Cancer. You know, you're overcoming obstacles. But don't give up. Don't change your course. Stay, stand your ground, right? And I feel like that's going to make you more appealing. It's going to make you more um, excited 
you're going to be able to take action, totally adapt to your situation. Okay? Um, because I feel like with this King of Wands energy, you're, you got the control. You know, the King of Wands, he's very similar to the Emperor. You know, he's very fiery, very vibrant, very bold. You know? And, you know, where the Emperor takes control... The, the King of Wands is right next to him. You know, he's ready to pursue that action. He, he's not backing down from a situation. He's like, I, I may not know all the answers, but I'm going to go ahead and take action anyway. Right? So I feel like you're finding your power, Cancer. And I feel like there are things that you're waiting for, that there are things that you're going to pursue. This can also be a card of travel. So there may be some kind of travel plans that you, you're going on. Maybe you are traveling back home or traveling to see people or they're traveling to see you. But I feel like this this is going to be a very happy time for you. I feel like you're, you're really finding where you need to be. You're finding where you want to go. And you're taking control of the situation. Okay? So yeah, Nine of Pentacles. So you're looking really stable at the moment. You're kind of figuring out your priorities and the, you are making choices. But, you know, you're able to juggle things very easily with this Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. You know, you're able to get through it. And you have that, that counsel. Um, the Hierophant could also be a higher level of commitment. So I feel like you may be saying to yourself, it's all or nothing, right? Um, but I feel like you're very committed to whatever this is that you're doing, whatever this is that you're pursuing. And you're ready to just go all or nothing, right? We have the Fool twice. We have the Hierophant twice. So it's definitely something that you want to pursue, that you want to um, make into your reality. You're tired of pouring out those unfulfilled dreams, unfulfilled desires. You're bored in your situation and you really are trying to make things happen. Right? Where you poured out something that you thought would last or you thought would flourish, it didn't take you anywhere. But I feel like what it is that you're pouring out right now is going to create something beautiful. Right? It's going to create something magnificent. Something that you may not be fully prepared for. Okay? Because I feel like what I feel like you're ready. You're ready to create. You're ready to work on something. Something that brings you a lot of desire, a lot of want. You know, this could be a love situation. Uh, this could be work or something that you love. But I feel like you're putting family first. You have your priorities straight. Right? This could also, for some of you, this could also be a lover coming in from the past. Who wants to work at this situation. Who feels very unfulfilled without you. And they really want a new beginning. They want to create this situation over again. So. Wow. Okay. Let's get some oracle cards. For cancer. What do we have for cancer please? What do we have for cancer? Silver. Goddess insight. Yeah. You're gaining a lot of insight in your in your situation. We have the amethyst. So your intuition may be very high at the moment. You know, you may have these psychic abilities to really see things the way you want to envision them and kind of bring those things to life with this magician card, right? Um, you're manifesting something big, something great. So stay on that course, Cancer. I feel like you're really on to something. Whatever this is, is going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment, a lot of success, right? We have a fiery climax approaches. Okay, 
So yeah, this is Aries energy. So we've got that emperor here too. So this could be an Aries. And, and don't let your pride get in the way. So don't be scared to ask for help if you need it, Cancer, right? Don't let your pride get in the way of your focus because it's time to be focused, okay? So let's get an angel number for Cancer. What's going on with Cancer, please? Let's get an angel number for Cancer. Okay, you have protection. 444. Four, four. This is the time to take confidence in all that you pursue. The divine universe is working through you and protecting you. Time has come to allow all the doors of opportunity to welcome you with open arms. Okay, your affirmation. I feel the loving care of the divine protecting me and I allow myself to pursue growth and opportunities okay so that is your reading cancer i hope this reading helps you if it resonates like and subscribe share and um if it doesn't resonate take a look at your other placements they may be resonating with you more at this time and my beautiful cancer many blessings to you until your next reading love and light